I believe in the doctrine of election, but I don't like it much. Is it sin for me not to like the doctrine of election? It's sin not to like the true doctrine of election. <laughs> it's, it's sin not to like what God likes. Now, it, I would want to say it like that because many people have conceptions of doctrines, all kinds of doctrines, that are inaccurate. And therefore, their good hearts dislike them. So you could say, I dislike election and, and be a good person because you don't see election clearly. And what you're disliking should be disliked. Or you may be a person who is starting to see it clearly and your old self, which is bad, is rising up and not liking what ought to be liked. So I don't know whether this person should be chastised or, or not. So the, the principle would be um, to the degree that you see biblical truth clearly, you should like it. Now, let me pause there because it comes to my mind, biblical truth clearly. There are very hard, I mean, hell is... Hell is a biblical truth. So when I say you should like hell, what I mean is the way God does. God uh, says is not willing that any should perish. God does not delight in the death of the wicked. God uh, afflicts us, but not from his heart, Lamentations 3. So there is in God himself a willing that hell be, and liking that it exists in that big picture, and yet grieving over sending anybody, <clears throat> anybody there. And so th the word like is just a little bit, a little bit difficult here because you're going to have to do double perspectives again. <coughs> if God ordains that um, Jerusalem be destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar, should we like that? <clears throat> and my answer is a yes and no. We should not like women bo boiling their children. <clears throat> we should not like women boiling their children. But we should approve of God's decision that it happened. And so there's a double perspective in which the things that you see in the small lens should be disliked and in the bigger lens liking that God would run the world this way.